All right, so I'm about to give y'all a million dollars worth of game for free. Get in here. Come on, get in here. So getting paid to work with brands is one thing, but being able to consistently work with brands, that's a game changer. Brands are projected to spend $19 billion on creators and influencers this year, and they're projected to reach half a trillion by 2027. And so many content creators are missing out on opportunities by not doing this one thing. If you're looking to join the content creator economy this year, then this video is for you. If you're new here, I'm Whitney, digital content creator and social media consultant. I teach you how to turn content creation into a business. Working with brands is one thing, but being able to consistently bring in high value partnerships, that's a game changer. If you want to take control of your creator journey and not just wait and wait for brands to come and find you, then pitching is the way to go. Are you doing it or are you doing it correctly? Brand deals happen one of two ways. They can happen inbound or outbound. Inbound meaning the brand or agency, they reached out to you, they might have slid in your DMs or your inbox and they are showing interest in working with you. And the other way is outbound. Outbound, this is where you actively have to go searching for your campaigns. There's influencer platforms that you can sign up for. They'll notify you of any opportunities that you're a match for. And if you want a list of all my favorite platforms that actually pay, I'll drop a link in the description box. It's free, go grab it. But another way to do outbound is to go directly to the brand and pitch yourself. Pitching is just shooting your shot. It's reaching out to the brand directly, introducing yourself, showing them your value, and then letting them decide if they wanna work with you or not. I'm about to show you three things that you can do with your pitch so you'll be able to take control of your creator journey. Number one, I want you to offer more. If you're an influencer who hasn't expanded to offer UGC, you're leaving money on the table. UGC is just user generated content and it's very similar to influencing, but you get paid to create the content and you don't have to post it. So the brand uses it for their own social media and your audience never has to see the content. According to the Influencer Marketing Hub's benchmark report, only 23% of brands said that their main purpose for running campaigns was to generate sales. But 53% said that their main purpose was to generate content. So there's far more opportunities for those who offer UGC. If you have not started offering UGC, then I think you should consider it. And the reason I like UGC so much is because you don't have to have a large following to do it. So while you're in the stage of building your personal brand, you can offer UGC. You just have to know how to create ad-worthy content and how to create ad-worthy content deserves its own video. So if you want me to chat about that, then let me know in the comments. I'll make a video about it. So the second way to make your pitch better so that you'll be able to bring in more income on a consistent basis is to articulate your value. So in your pitch, I want you to tell them why you're the perfect person for the brand. And it's not always about how many followers you have. And like we said earlier, it's not always about sales. Brands have goals for each campaign and sometimes their goal is just to spread awareness or increase their engagement or to reach a specific audience. But knowing your value and articulating it, that's key. So stop sending those generic, hey, can we work together? Instead, show the brand why they absolutely need to create opportunities for you because you have value. And the last thing that you can do when pitching to brands to bring in more income on a consistent basis, and this part kind of changed the game for me because it just freed up so much time. I want you to consider outsourcing. Pitching is a numbers game. If you pitch often and consistently, it pays off. I knew that just by adding a few more brand deals every month, that would make a huge difference in my income, but I didn't have the patience or the tolerance or the discipline to actually sit down and pitch on a consistent basis and actually follow up. So I hired a virtual assistant and I thought about it like this. All she has to do is give me one extra brand deal a month and that'll pay for her and me. But if you're in a position to outsource pitching, I don't think you'll regret it. And that's my spiel. To ramp up the number of brand deals you're getting, just go out and find them yourself. If you're starting your creator journey or you're already in it, I think you'll like it here. But I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!